Hello fellow builders, welcome to Renville. We're gonna probably change the name eventually to this city um, once we start developing it, but right now we're gonna leave it Renville. It's what it uh, came up as when we built, or when we started this city, so we'll keep that for now. Um, we're going to do a build guy here. So we're gonna look at all the different things that we need to do in order to develop the city and build the city and add character to the city and different things like that. I wanted to use Table Mountain to do this guide in. In this particular video, I know we want to do 400 population and 800 population. And we'll see how far that takes us. Um, I don't want to make the video too long, so we may stop it at 800 population. Now, first thing we need to do is go ahead and get us a um, structure of roads built into here. So this might take a few minutes for me to set up to be able to get in here and get done so you can see we use dirt the gravel roads here i really like doing these for setting up an outline for our structure so we'll get this going here So what we're going to do here, we're going to start off with this basic outline right here. I'm going four wide down through here. And then when we come over here, we're going to put commercial down through here. Um, we're going to build this city. Downtown's going to be down in this area right here. We're going to have several different ways to get into downtown. Um, we are going to have a, ro um, a metro network that comes down through here and comes here. I'm going to have like a shopping mall, shopping center type thing around here. Over here is going to be some industry, so we have a little bit of ore. We also have a little bit of oil, so we'll set those industries up here. Um, over here we have some farming, so we'll do some farming industry over here. The natural resources in this particular map are fairly sparse and limited, um, so we have to kind of like utilize them the best we can with what they give us to use. I'm going to do some forestry up in here and on this mountain right here. So we're going to probably change the look of this mountain as we get going through here. I'm going to level it out and put some of the ploppable industry buildings up here with the, the trees and stuff like that. Um, for one, it's going to fill the trees in naturally. And for two, it's going to give us that resources that we need in order to level up our... Um, forestry department over here so our forestry department is going to go over here and probably in this little area right here um residential and commercial down through here um this is going to be a road that leads and follows this mountain right here or this rolling hill into downtown and then um these are going to be like little spurs that come off of it little collector roads that come off of it one of those will be an artery that comes over here, connects to this. So we don't have anything on that artery either. And then um, connects to this farm over here so people can get to and fro um, from that farm. So let's get into this. We're going to build this out a little bit um, and do some different things in here that are going to be kind of cool. So let me get this going. I may end up moving this, so bear with me here as we figure out what we're going to do. Let's see. Okay. three and three so that's good and then we're gonna need to connect this here okay we're gonna change this eventually as well and then this will be our oh that's not even right so that's not gonna connect there we gotta go down one more I 
know it's a little wonky, but this will make more sense later on when I get in here and start showing you guys what I'm going to do here. This is going to be my commercial area for my city. It's going to be right here. Um, we're going to build out some residential over here. So what I do is I do four. I leave a space for a fence. And then this is going to be a one-way street that comes this way. This is going to be a one-way street that goes towards downtown. These are going to be one-way streets that come over here and feed into these areas right here. These are going to be our arteries into the city um, and into this area from our highway system right here. So we're going to build this down. And then I'm just going to do a basic grid initially for this particular city. Uh, just because I like, I like grids. Um, in city skylines for the most part they're not always functional and I, I see some really cool neighborhoods that other creators create and different things that that I really enjoy looking at um, so I'll do some of those especially over here into these rolling hills you'll see me create some specific neighborhoods that roll up into these hills and stuff but on the flatlands you're gonna see me do a lot of grid uh, we are gonna go for a European style city in this particular map as well so you'll see us build that um, European style city up as we go through here. I don't want to spend too much money on the road system right now. Man, I couldn't do that if I tried. That was like a perfect fit right there. All right, so what I did here, I know I'm going to make this an avenue later on. So I went in ahead and added that spacing in here. So see this little space right here? This is gonna fill in when I make this an avenue. And these are gonna be collectors, so I can still put residential on these collectors, um, especially here, because the, the collector isn't gonna be collecting too much in this general area, so it's okay for us to have these extra intersections. Now when I get over here, I may build a collector that comes over here um, as well. So if that's the case, then I may not have as many intersections in this busier, higher, like thicker area over on the side of the map. But over here, this is going to be a really small area for residential. So having this collector with multiple points is, is going to be okay. Maybe not so much over here. So you'll see me make that difference and change over here. So we're going to bring this down. We need to get some industry into our city. Um, initially, it's going to be dirty industry. So you guys are going to see some dirty industry in the city. And then we'll switch it over to uh, forestry here in a little bit. <laughs> Ignore my crazy roads for right now. This, is, this will all change, I promise. This is not a permanent... Um, way that the city's going to look. I'm going to put my power plant over here as well. Kind of offset from the road. But I don't want it too close because these are going to be forestry buildings. So we're going to offset it from the road a little bit but still leave a little room for the pollution so it doesn't impact these forestry buildings. These power plants and stuff will end up moving over here closer to this water eventually. I just don't want to spend all my money doing that right now um, because money is tight in the early game when you're playing vanilla which this city is going to be a vanilla uh, vanilla city so you guys will see a lot of vanilla stuff in here um i do have dlcs in here even though it's vanilla it's still dlc content so you'll see me using dlc content in here as well and um like the european style buildings and those types of things are dlc content so you guys will see that in here as well let me get my stuff going here so we can get powered up and get our city moving and get the basics of our city unlocked there is one thing that i do that is not realistic and y'all can give me y'all can give me grief about it if you want i know some of you all are more about realism in this game and i respect that and in a lot of aspects i'll do it as realistic as I possibly can but one thing that I don't want to spend too much time on realism on is the actual aspect of laying pipes and the reason why that is is because laying pipes to follow your roads um, eats up your nodes and you only have so many nodes in the game and you can run out and I like to do a lot of details and stuff in my cities 
so in order to avoid running out of nodes i um i literally don't play i literally don't place my pipes underneath my streets anymore i used to when i first started the game when i first started the game maybe not when i first started the game but after watching some creators do it i was like oh yeah that makes perfect sense let me do that too i need that money that's what we need to do that right now. Oh, I need to connect that up. That. And then we'll put this power line down here. And we'll run this across here to here. And then we'll get our stuff going so we can start actually building our city. And keep in mind, a lot of this is going to change. Like, this won't stay the way it is. And we'll start detailing. Once we start getting money into the city, we'll start actually detailing the city and making it look like an actual city. But initially, we're going to go, we're going to have to go with the vanilla buildings and stuff like that until we get to districts so when we hit 800 population and we get districts that's when we can start changing them over and making them european style and we'll do a european style throughout this entire build once we get to that point almost forgot to go in and change my budget so we're going to change all these to zero or half half for now as the city grows we'll up it but that's going to help us with mitigating expenses in the early game so you'll see that um, down here and initially once we start we gotta pay for these resources but as we start making taxes this number will change as well all right so let's get at it y'all ready let's watch Renville grow i'll put it on super fast mode for now i'm gonna make a weird connection here this isn't going to stay. Once I unlock this tile, um, we'll, we'll do a 4x4 four four down here. So we'll add this. We'll take this down to here. And this will come over and connect to here. And I'll put a roundabout right here for this commercial area right here. So right now there's like no detail or anything you can do because we don't even have it unlocked and this is this is one of the things about the early game that you gotta to keep an eye on because some some of the stuff doesn't even unlock at this this point in the game another thing that you're gonna see me do is as i'm building up you'll see me do this like i have an end of the street right here i'm gonna build up a pedestrian path that connects to here to here because um, and over here, because I want to have that metro line that runs down through here. And that will give access to this neighborhood for people to come over and use that metro line. And then um, it will also allow people to walk over to the shopping center that's going to be over here um, later on in the game. I don't want to put that close. I probably won't do it on this side. I may make a connection here. Um, but I may not take it all the way across just so they can walk down to this interchange down here because there's a lot of, there's gonna be a lot of traffic right here because of these forestry and stuff down here um, once I get this built they probably won't even use this intersection as much for the traffic it'll be more of this especially as I start expanding this way because people will be going over here and different things like that so you'll see that play out in the city we're almost at our first milestone so let's go back so when this unlocks we're going to get a, a school and medical clinic recycling center landfills different schools unlock um, not a whole lot happens at 400 um, we can start charging our own tax rate though and I'll show you what I do for that all right so this is all unlocked we got our school and our recycling centers and different things like that um, first thing I do once I unlock that is I go in here and I change my taxes to 12. They'll pay 12. They'll be happy paying 12. They don't mind paying 12. This is going to change the city skylines too. So when you get city skyline 2, know that there's going to be different. Just automatically know. Let's get this bad boy going again. Let's try to get some money up in the city so we can make some 
let's make some moolah. I do like the recycling centers. I'm not a landfill kind of guy. I like to. I prefer the recycling centers. I just like the look of them better, and um, they collect trash just as well. So that's usually what I end up going with. That's weird. We're just gonna zone this out for now. This is all gonna change here in a little bit. Like I was telling y'all before. And what I'm trying to do right now is get this, get these um, filled in. So when I put my commercial in over here, there's a power line network. So I don't have to build a power line to connect these. It'll already be over here. This is the fun part. Do, 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 do. All right, see, this is happening. So that means I need to go in here and change this. So we're going to take this up to 75 for now. Again, we're early, early game. We got to um, try to <laughs> manage our money as the best we can. We don't have a lot of roads, so we'll bump this up to 100. It'll double this almost, so take it up to about $500 for now. Once we start upgrading these roads, it'll change it. But we're not at a point where um, that's a focus yet. We're just going to keep gravel roads. I don't usually start changing them until I hit about 800 population. And people are like, oh yeah, we need this. Alright, so now we need water. So we're going to go in here, bump up water again. It doesn't have to be exactly 75, somewhere around there. I'm not going to do this one yet, because when I, if I do, when I put this avenue in, it's going to delete them. So I'll do it on either side, like this, but I won't do this one until I put this avenue in here in a few minutes. Actually, I could probably do that now. See how it's taking this and filling it in at this point. Boom. There we go. Boom goes the dynamite. Alright, so now we can fill that in. Once we get to 800, which we're at 706 now. So once we hit that 800 population, we're going to get all kinds of things. So we unlock the districts, the emergency services, um, our city specializations. We get It changed out of self-sufficient buildings, organic. We can now go in and do our European style buildings, um, which we're going to do. So that's one of the things I want to do on this video. I know I said we're going to hit 800, but we're going to go a step further and go to a 1300 in this video. We're only about 20 minutes in, so I want to make this video about 30 minutes. So that'll get us about to that point in this city. Alright, so we're going to start building some districts, y'all. This over here is going to be forestry. Eee. I don't know if anybody else owns like that. <laughs> I'll go back and fix that later on. Alright, so we're going to go in. We're going to do forestry. All this is going to change, and it's going to change quick. You're going to see this go crazy over here real quick. Um, and then we're going to do this over here all right so what we're going to do here we have our district oops i added another district over here um but we're going to change this to european suburbia so you're going to see all these just in this district right here you're going to see it change and then we'll go through and start adding these in as well let me delete this one we don't need hillside district and then we're going to add another district in the middle. And this district's going to follow all the way to downtown. Um, and we'll probably come over here and fill this in as well. Because this is going to be our shopping malls. Because I really like those buildings. I really like the way they look. No power. Don't get concerned. These will fill in um, with those power options. Maybe one of these days. We do need police. The 
place right here in the middle of the city. We'll probably end up moving that over here once we once we add this in. And then we're gonna need a fire department for sure. Since these use a lot less population, if you watch my video on how to unlock the um, the Eiffel Tower, then you guys will know these take less, have less jobs in them. So you generally have to do more of them. So we're going to add some more in. do have fire spread turned off I'll end up moving that too we'll make it like a little area for those specifically um, I do like to um, have these look at these buildings right here so if you look at the, van the like a vanilla ones they're all weird like three four story houses and stuff um, just weird to me so I like to have these European buildings I just really like the look of them versus those why is that still here did I even it went all wonky on me down here This is this is again because of these, um, I believe. Because these lost power, it should reconnect once some of these fill in. I, I should have zoned that. Hold on. Should have went ahead and did that. That was my fault. All right, let's add some more industry in. We won't be using gravel roads for much longer, I promise y'all. It's just for money. I, money in early game is really tough, so um, gravel roads are a lot cheaper, so it's a lot easier for us to manage through those. Okay, I do need to up my electricity at this point, so we'll go to 100. We'll go ahead and take water up there, too. And then once I get... The, once I unlock this tile and start building in it, I'm going to build, like, a whole school area right here. So there's going to be, like, the high school and the elementary school and parks and different things. It's going to look pretty cool once I get it built. And it's probably going to take me maybe a whole episode just to do that part of it. Um, we'll see how long it takes us to, to do that once we get it in there. Um, our goal, we're going to stop at 1,300. So once we hit 1,300 population, we're going to stop this video and um, save it for the next time. In between, I'll probably add some character to the city, um, upgrade these roads and different things like that as, as we're in between the episodes. Just so you guys don't have to sit there and watch me upgrade all these roads and do those types of things. But any of the any of the actual building and upgrading of this, you know, the customizations and different things, growing the city, those, those types of things, I'm not gonna do on video. Or I'll do I will do those on video for you all. Um, Tiny Town unlocks a whole lot. So we get parks, we get the industry, so we can start building up the poppable buildings, we get pedestrian areas, which is one of my favorite things in the game now. So if you don't have that DLC, definitely get it. If you don't have industries, definitely a must get. Those two right there are must-haves if you're, if you're going to play this game just for ease. Um, 
and then uh, mass transit you, you, mass transit is a must have as well this unlocks landscaping so we can now pop trees we can put up fences we can add little paths and like the tiny town unlocks so much um for that next level we have parks and plazas industry fishing industry unlocked if you have that dlc um look at all of our new policies that we can do unfortunately bicycling is not in there wah 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 um but that will come later on but look at all these paths and canals and different things fences look at all this stuff that you get when you get the 1300 so 1300 is a really really good place to, to set a limit to and get to so that you can unlock these these uh, these particular buildings and stuff all right so um when you guys come back to the next episode you're gonna see like a lot of these are filled out i'll have this unlocked already so i'll go ahead and unlock this section over here um and i may even have this filled out to the way that i want it to be so y'all can see that all these roads will be upgraded and um there may be some customization and stuff over in this area that that you may see um but i wanted to show you guys how i started the city and then um i'm not gonna build build a whole bunch of stuff while you guys are gone um so you may see some changes when you come back all right i uh, appreciate you guys watching this video if you liked it hit that uh, like and subscribe button um there will be more to this build guide so i look forward to seeing you guys next time thank you for watching